the North China Herald is not just a resource for political historians or, or economic historians. Um, it has actually a tremendous um, variety of visual material within it, um, in its cartoons, and especially the, the cartoons of Sapper Joe, uh, a wonderful white Russian refugee uh, cartoonist who drew for the paper uh, from the early mid-1920s uh, until 1941. Uh, so the, it is a record of the visual and in the 1930s um, it starts regularly to, to uh, print photographs and has special photo supplements as well. So uh, and many of those photographs are, are unique, they don't appear to survive anywhere else other than in, than in the pages of the North China Herald. There are lots of records of uh, exhibitions, uh, of um, preparations for international exhibitions as well. So there's a wealth of cultural detail within, within the pages of the, the North China Herald as well. Perhaps of lesser quality overall, um, it was a place in which um, foreigners in, in, in Shanghai in particular uh, would publish um, verse about current events or about their, their sort of local life and gossip. Um, which is to be taken seriously. Uh, it's an interesting facet of the foreign world uh, in China, and there is some fiction as well. So how foreigners in China uh, imagined and represented the world they were living in um, is one of the areas uh, from which the North China Herald can really help you explore in greater detail. It has a great deal of information about sport, uh, and this was a very important facet of foreign life um, in China. Um, Shanghai or Tianjin or Beijing stopped work for the autumn or the spring races. And there's a great deal of information in there about that, um, about the horse racing or about soccer and its development. But in all of these, it's not only always a record of foreign activity. It's a growing Chinese inculturation uh, and adoption of foreign sports is, is something which is recorded in the pages of the North China Herald as well.